Ravenna, Ancona, Traversara, dozens of towns and villages on Italy's east coast were underwater. Water levels rose several meters in just a few hours. In one rescue operation, a firefighter died while trapped in a flooded truck. In many places, emergency services had to evacuate residents from flooded homes. In total, more than a thousand people needed help. Meanwhile, a flood wave swept through Hungary. Emergency services had been preparing for several days. We put sandbags in the hot spots. The water level was predicted to be 8 meters, then updated to 837 centimeters, but we still built barriers up to 8.5 meters. There were places where such sensitive points had to be raised for safety reasons. In particular, the Danube is rising dangerously as it receives a flood wave from Slovakia, and in many places, water is pouring into the riverbeds that flow into the Danube, causing local flooding. The task of the authorities, emergency management, the army, the interior ministry and volunteers is to monitor the floodway from the Leita River at the westernmost point of Hungary and further south until it leaves Hungary towards Serbia. We intend to increase the tried and tested disaster relief fund to 1 billion euros. This will provide more financial support for all those affected by the floods, both individuals and businesses. The Czech Republic is already receiving funds from the EU aid program. The country is in the process of assessing the damage, which, according to preliminary estimates, could exceed 17 billion crowns. Kamil Czaska, Republika.